How you doing everybody? It's Justin. We're back. Uh, in the last video, you got to see me get rid of pretty much all of the, uh, the the old go-kart. And we're going to use bits and pieces off of it and uh, put it back on the, uh, the new frame we got here. Um, we got this welded on and my brother tried to sabotage me and he welded it on backwards. So now we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take and switch everything to each side. It we'll make it work. Well, we didn't even uh, pay attention. Um, it was just a mistake we made. Well, he made, and uh, <laughs> now all three of us was in here. But uh, we put it on backwards. We was too worried about keeping it square, and we never paid attention to this. So I think it'll be okay. I know there's a way these set to keep them straight, but I think it'll be okay. We'll be on dirt, so. Um, now, you know, one more thing, guys, this, we put two one inch, uh, square stock in here. I, I don't think we actually, uh, showed you us putting that in there, but these two pieces of square tubing inside of this, and they go over so far on both sides. So to give it plenty of strength for when you're going over them bumps and stuff. But I just wanted to throw that in there. We did put two pieces of square stock in there. Should make it uh, sturdy enough. But I'm just going to take the uh, tie rod seat there in the back, and this is the steering. The old steering was over on this side, or the uh, the shorter one was over there. So I think we'll be okay. We're just going to take uh, try to do some. Uh, but we're just going to take these out and switch sides. But you see, they got a bend to them. So. We're going to, uh, I might have to flip them over, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure you make them work. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make them work. If not, we'll make new ones. That's right. All right, I got the old tie rods off, or, uh, yeah, the old tie rods off and tie rod ends. Um, I don't know, it, it's just not working out right if, uh, I leave it here, I think because I made it wider and, uh, it was offset, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but. We're gonna uh, take this piece of steel right here and cut it off so I can extend it out. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one here and one here like that. And uh, hopefully they'll give us enough to turn the wheel. Cause I can't, even if I hook them up here anywhere, it just, it doesn't turn the wheel far enough. It only turns it a, a tiny little bit. So we're gonna, Go ahead and get this cut up and we can come up with Okay, I had to take the uh, the pedal off so I can move this uh, steering wheel over to the center. But I got a piece of metal. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to weld it right here on the end of this. Underneath. Or underneath, okay. Yeah. yeah underneath. But uh, this is going to go like that and um, my tie rod. That'll give me a lot, more. a lot more steering. So, but before we get into doing that, I kind of skip this step here. I need to, I need to get this front end bolted down and get this pan uh, or floor welded to the it's the, the uh, loose on here. I got to get it welded to the pipes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this bolted down, get this welded down, then we'll come back to this. I might have to get a few. Um, I'm gonna have to get some dial or something to make these uh, tie rods. We run into another little problem. So what we did was uh, took it and we actually made it a little bit thinner. Uh, it's only 16 inches wide right now. Uh, it was like 19. Uh, it made it a lot easier. Plus we was unsquare with our steering, our axle. It was just off a little bit. So. Actually, we just cut it down. We got this, these holes drilled, and we're putting our bolts in now. All right, we got all the holes drilled for the uh, for the uh, front end now. We got the steering holes drilled, centered, and we're going to start uh, working on this. I got this uh, lined up pretty good. We're gonna, we got it all mocked up. We're going to get ready to build our tie rod in, or our tie rods. What is that? This? Yeah. I don't know what the that's name. the bottom of your steering, right? This? Yeah. 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 This. Okay. Yeah, tie rod in the hook in here and here. 
and that goes up to your steering wheel. Yeah, this this hooks to my steering wheel here. This is the bottom shaft of the steering. Okay. So, all right, we're gonna get to it. All right, um, <clears throat> we got these all cleaned up and put back in. Um, we're gonna take this, we're gonna straighten this all out, and we're gonna get some measurement. And we're gonna make, I got our tie rods, our, our pieces on, we got our tie rod ends in, and we're going to uh, take this 3 8 uh, bar stock, it's dial rod, whatever, we're going to thread it uh, just so much for us to where we can screw them in or out of our the threads on our tie rod ends and try to get these as straight as we can, I mean square as we can. Alright guys, we got the uh, uh, tie rod cut at 14 and a half inches and we're threading the ends of it here. All right, we got our uh, tie rod made. We went ahead and we threaded it and uh, um, got them screwed in. And I think it's gonna work out pretty good. We got one more to do, but you guys got to see this one. Uh, we're gonna do this uh, probably tomorrow. It's getting starting to get pretty late, but uh, <clears throat> I think it I think it turned out pretty good. I gotta put some stops here so it'll only turn so far, but I think we're gonna be all right. You gonna put a big bumper on the front, like? Well, yeah, I probably have to build a bumper to protect this. Dad wants me to use like, I don't know, probably a six-inch cast iron or uh, solid stock. Solid, oh, solid, yeah. Yeah, solid stock. Yeah, so he just wants to slow me down. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna need it. We got some big heavy one inch steel up on the hill we could use. No, I need aluminum. <laughs> I think you're going to have to grind that off. That bump right there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just take this one all the way out. It ain't going to hurt. It ain't, won't affect anything. I know. Look at that. Well, just pull this bolt out and take the grinder and just grind that off and it'll bring it back there. Alright guys, uh, we're, I think we're done with this video here, uh, I, I'm not allowed to put very long videos on yet, my, my channel is not very big, um, so uh, we're going we're gonna to keep you with us though and move back and start on the seat and just work our way back uh, to the back, um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, I really need you guys to subscribe, um, comment and uh, Thanks for watching.